Montreal. So they've got a nice little, little bit of versatility. Yes. Whereas, uh, you know, obviously they've switched colors now. Um, but the red team is yeah, still sticking I mean, with their double surge. Listen, double what, surge track. if it doesn't, if it, if it works for them, why change it, right? Exactly. So it's been working for them. And here yep. we're going to have the action starting, going right for the relic. But look at this. There, we only have one guy on the relic. Woof, uh, Woof face is going for that relic, grabs it. And he's running now to the dome, getting in there, double jumping. Yep. Hidden. Yep. Sorry, we got a little a little miss mishap there, but okay, we got now surge on the dome. Nice, nice hook Two shot. 2v2 there. battle. This is a nice balanced battle. We're gonna see who comes up on top. But remember, as the battle's going on, it's the red team that's grabbing sneakily these points because yeah. they have the relic in this battle. You know? Well, you know what? And, and this is just the, the power of the Stingray is she's so fast and she can cover the map so quickly. You know, we mentioned this many times in the past. Surge cannot keep up with her speed. Yeah. However, as we saw, as we see the red team now just completely dominating. I mean, yeah, they have their like four solid two surges in the yep. in the dome protecting the relic, and then they have their you know their I, I would say the more weaker. Uh, softer teammates, you know, yeah. on the outside, not necessarily in skill wise, but I mean, in HP wise, they don't have as much HP, uh, uh, HP as Surge. So, I mean, they look at him planting down, just protecting his team. And again, the blue team here, I don't think they understand what's going on. They need to go for the relic and not fight outside yeah, the relic. It's already over now. You see what happens when you yeah. fight outside the relic? You just see, this is this is the problem. Is, you gotta is, go for the relic. I feel like I feel like a lot of the players just kind of want to get more into like the intensity of the game, which yeah. is totally fine. It is, it is right. And I get the fact that you want a team fight, but you know. Team fighting is not going to win you the game. Yeah. You gotta grab the relic. You gotta capitalize on the team. And obviously, you know, um, with the other guys, you know, I, I believe their team names couldn't use memes. Yes. Okay. It's a sentence so, name. <laughs> <laughs> so couldn't use memes. Yeah. Let's just call them. Uh, no, nah, we're not actually going to call them that because you know where I'm going with that. But anyways, remember, guys, Alpha Number Two is actually one of my favorite maps because it is so compact. It is so small. All the zones are so close together. So the minute you get 12 points out of one zone, you're right away two seconds away from going to the next dome and getting some more points. So this is going to be exciting to watch because Wu Face loves the action. Oh, he man. just loves all the time. We just saw time. Freddy Wong just eat the dust. He I know. Fell off the I stage. listen, and that's a good play because now you have to reset. You're basically forcing your team to reset. Yeah. You know, man. You know what? Rocket Jump did a great job of. Being able to find out exactly where what was, but and his teammates are just doing such a good 3v1. job of zoning out. It took yeah. the blue team there a long time to help out. You see what happens? It doesn't matter if you're fast to get to the dome. Mm -hmm. If your teammate don't come and help you, you're going to lose that relic. You need the whole team to go as a whole and go for that relic together. That's, you know that's I mean? a very brave play. Absolutely. Play. Here, look, they're going in one by one. One yeah. by one. 4v1 battle. 4v2 battle. You're not going to get the relic this way. There's no, especially with two surges there, no and, shot. And I like the way that they've spread themselves out. Like, look at the way that they've sieged up and they're just blasting Absolutely. left, right, and center. But look, and, somehow the blue team is coming uh, up on top. They're actually battling enough to get that relic. And now Rocket Jump steals the relic. He's gonna go to the dome and grab hopefully what is a full 12 points. Let's see if he can let's see if he can pull this off. No one really knows where he is at. There we go. Wu face there, or sorry, what face there to, to take it down. Throws a, yep. a, a poison, yep, forcing poison. Rocket Jump to get out of the dome. Mm -hmm. And now he's gonna go to the next dome, which is uh, top north corner there. There he is. Getting another hopefully what is full 12 points. Let's yep. see, he has one player with him. This is a no uncontested three blue team there. Nobody there to battle. Kawhi comes I in like, late. I like how Rocket Jump is utilizing the barriers. You know, this is one of your personal favorites, whether it's the wooden boxes or whether it's Absolutely. the actual roadblocks. Um, look at the style here. Look at this Rocket Jump, man. He's pulling off moves for his I team. I hear apparently, though, he might be he might be playing in the back room. I'm not exactly No, no. Sure. There's no... We wish. So. We wish. We wish, man. Not at all. Four. <laughs> I wish, actually. I wish we had the players with us. They're all over the <laughs> that would world. That pretty awesome. Who knows it? where they're at? Yeah. What face now? Going to get another... Hopefully 12 points. They can actually close up the game and finish it right here. If it's uncontested, he's going invis. That was a stupid invis. I think he should have waited a little bit longer. You think? Yeah, for right using it right now when Wong comes in. But it didn't matter. They won the match either way. Yeah, I mean, in a traditional situation, you probably want to wait a little bit of more. Of course. If you, you don't need to use invis. your abilities, why right. use them, right? Exactly. Only use them when you need to. There was, there was one opportunity in that game, though, that I did like that what face literally popped his invis as he knew yeah. that the opposing team was coming and threatening the relic. But... You know, now moving to Alpha Station Four, I go. feel like this one I feel like all Freddy barriers. Wong's team. I feel like Freddie Wong's team really needs to just step it up because yeah. they're one game away from dropping their spot in the tournament. I mean, listen, they they're getting swept and they don't know they don't they don't have the answers. They don't have the answers for two surges. And you know what? It, it's it's sad to say, but it's it's hard, man. Two surges is, is a very beefy team. That's a lot, a lot of, of tanking. Yeah, yep. you have a lot of beef, man. It's like you can't go through two surges just like that. It's hard. 
And we're gonna see uh, smoke now, and you got a little poison in the middle of the dome, which is making it hard to collect points, but they are. Remember, if you get kills holding the relic, you're gonna get a total of five points for each kill, so it's very crucial. Did you see to what kill someone. just did? Just zoomed right out of there, man. And he's again pop see again pop popping the invis way too early. Way too early, but I mean, I guess he knows something that I don't because it worked out for his advantage. Double I really jump. Like, I really like the fact that he's utilizing the zip line to get himself into the next. Look, he's done, he's done it twice already. He's and look at how much in. space he's covered, Man. literally. This is unbelievable. He's going to get 26 points here, I think. He's going to go to 26. They can't find him because he's invis, but now they do. Wow. And now Surge. it's a 4v3 battle. Two surges. Here we go. Gets out of there again. He's going to go to the next dome. He's going there slowly. And he has action right behind him. Freddy right behind him trying to get him. Using the barriers to his advantage, like I said, but he couldn't pull it off. But Freddy getting in there nice and... And look, they're battling instead of getting that relic. But here we go. What face now on his way to the next dome. I mean, it's looking like another another win for the red team, man. Well, we saw a, a, sim a very similar story with uh, the two teams that were competing on Monday. Yeah. Um, I know at times that as a caster... Ooh, what face. Yeah, and look really how nice organized. Look how organized. They're all together at all times. Four players side yep. by side. You know, the two surges behind them. This is a organized gaming here, right? This is amazing. Yeah. Well, you know what? As I was saying, too, you know, from a casting perspective, you know, at times it can be a little bit frustrating when you have to kind of cast a game that's very one-sided. And as we're talking about Easy it, it's... Easy win. Yeah, Easy it's just, win. I mean, you're you know battling, but you're it. battling in the zone. You, if you're battling yeah. in the zone... <laughs>